Hello, teachers. So, you've been quarantined. You don't know how to teach your class and you're in despair. I get your feeling, but what if there was a way? A way to teach online, though occupying a classroom. This is possible. And you don't even have to show your face. I know many of you want to Skype students, but what will they learn? It is possible to be in your class and to write on your interactive whiteboard and make sure all your students see it. Yes, let me show you how. So, it's quite easy actually. The first thing you need to have is OBS. Where is it? Okay, so this is OBS. This is a program free of charge, totally free, that allows you to record everything that is on your screen. Now, what you must know is that a white interactive board, an interactive whiteboard, sorry, is actually a second screen to your computer. So, now, if you dial Windows plus P, well, on my computer, on my French computer at least, you will have this little window which allows you to duplicate or to extend your display. What you want to do is to extend so that you will have two screens. Screen 1 for your computer, screen 2 for the interactive whiteboard. And you can actually record both of them. Let's just have a look. This would be my interactive why board? Just a second before, I, because I wasn't ready. I started record, I wasn't ready. This is a total catastrophe. Let me entertain you with my silliness for a second before I get to where I want to be. There it is. So, you have the uh, possibility on a whiteboard to annotate it. Here I have the easy interactive tools from Epson. Very easy to download and to use which allows me to actually annotate anything. So here it's, I'm on two screens, but this screen that you're seeing over here would be my interactive whiteboard on which I could actually and physically write and my students could see it thanks to OBS. OBS, this program here, uh, can be downloaded on Windows, Mac or Linux. Here you have what you just saw before on my screen, which is the way to control OBS to put all your setting and to record what you want to record on your computer. For example, at this very moment, I'm actually listening to music, but you're not listening to it yourself because I didn't ask OBS to record it. So my shameful music is for my use only. Now, what you could do is easily to open any kind of PDF file. So here's a class, I, a lesson I prepared in French history. Let's say I want to put it full screen. Yep, there it is, full screen. However, I can still annotate it. I can still use this. There you go. This is a very important information. You need to know that. And you need to know that it had one, two, three, four spies on the top of the roof. You know? Well, it's not important in fact, but let's say you wanna do that. You can go down, explain your document to the student, everything, and with easy interactive tools, you can switch to the whiteboard. So, for example, you have the document that you can annotate and then you can switch to a board on which you can rewrite. So, I'm writing with my mouse, so be gentle with me, but be kind to me, but you could write anything here. It could be x equals 2y, anything. Yeah, so you can basically give a class, record yourself, and make sure the students see it.
Well, I think that's it. That was very fast. I'm quite surprised because my French version of this video is 10 minutes long. And this one is only 5 minutes long. Well, the thing is, OBS has many... Eh. Yeah. So, back to here. OBS... Oh, yeah. Yeah, I had forgotten something. So, OBS has uh, a lot of tutorials online, so I will not explain it to you because you can find it easily, how to put a display, how to record a scene, how to record yourself, how to select what you want to record and everything, and even how to uh, start streaming, because you can also stream live, you could be streaming your class live to your students. Everything is available online in other tutorials, I'm just putting IDs out here for you. Uh, in case you didn't know, that's all. It's free advertisements. Now, l let's say you have Office 365. Uh, what you could use in order to broadcast your classes to your students in case they have uh, a set email address and everything will be to use Stream, Microsoft Streams, on which you can record, well, you can upload videos and you can even schedule live streams. Yep, you can do that. You can invite your students to attend a live stream of your class. Isn't that wonderful? I think it is. Well, you can even make sure they all attend. <laughs> well, they have to get a, um, a computer at home too, but basically they would be able to see everything that you do on your whiteboard. Well, here it's a second screen as I told you uh, everything you explain if you record your voice and that would be a nice way to still give class well to the best of what can be done despite a quarantine and I will leave it to that thank you for watching see you next time